just added a layer of varnish over all of the covers in the fairy tale collection. This would probably be the second or third layer of varnish so far. I also lined the inside covers today and I wanted to try something different and I used this vintage wallpaper but I used it backwards so I actually glued the colour side face down and then I used some distress inks to bring out the pattern. I thought that looked really cool. I really want these books to feel quite vintage and distressed. So I really like how those lining papers turned out. And then on the smaller books, I used some panned paper from a craft consortium paper pad. They all have the same paper, really sweet. Now that the covers are nearly finished, I just have to put some eyelets on them for charms and stuff, maybe some closures. So I've actually ink dyed a bunch of paper. So some patterned papers and some plain papers. Uh, I dyed them up with ink so they have some cool variations with them. And I'm going to use these in the pages. So again, I want this collection to feel a bit distressed and a bit vintage. So I really wanted to include some more distressed papers inside. Last night I was able to do a bit of work on the inside pages of the journal collection that I'm working on. So I got a little bit of a head start on the inside pages. I'm really excited to work more on those today and that's going to be kind of my main focus for the day. But this morning before I do that I am going to make myself a couple of sketchbooks. So I mentioned in a previous video about making some sketchbooks out of some old books that I've been saving. So I'm going to do that today because I'm really feeling inspired to draw and paint traditionally at the moment. So I want to just follow my creativity and just do whatever I feel inclined to do creatively. So I'm going to follow that. And I thought since I'm making these sketchbooks, I may as well film the process and make a video for you guys in case it inspires you. It's probably not really going to be anything too new or anything you've not really seen before but hopefully it will still be inspiring or helpful in some way so i thought i may as well just film what i'm doing so i'm gonna create a couple of sketchbooks and then i'm gonna spend the rest of the day just playing around with paper and making some beautiful pages for these fairy tale books so that is my plan for today i'm gonna get started on these sketchbooks and i will show you the finished results as well that video will definitely be up on my channel before this one so if you want to know how to make a sketchbook out of an old book you should be able to find that up on my channel I just laminated these stickers so I thought that these would make some cool transparent pages in the fairy tale books that I'm making so uh, there's like two per sheet laminator sheet so I made four and I just overlapped these stickers these stickers are from Tapeology they come in packs like this so I have a ton of them and they're so realistic looking so they're like real flowers kind of scanned or photographed and made into stickers and yeah they look so realistic so I thought it could be cool to laminate them. I like to laminate real 
flowers and leaves. So here's some that I just did at the same time. So um, some real clovers and here I've got some leaves and some other things that I picked. So these are for other projects. But you can see it's pretty hard to even tell, uh, even right in front of me here, that these ones are real and these ones are fake. They look pretty realistic. So I thought these would make some nice little features in the fairy tale journals. talk a lot on my channel about my love for journaling and how journaling can be so beneficial to your mental health and to your state of mind. I love that it's something you can do from your own home or from wherever you are and on that same note I'm really excited to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy service and their mission is to provide more accessible and more affordable therapy. This is really important because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're limited to the options just in your area. BetterHelp makes it easy to find a suitable therapist for you. You just start off by answering a few questions about your own personal preferences, then assesses your individual needs and they match you with a suitable therapist. BetterHelp is committed to providing you with a good match, so they make it really easy to switch therapists if you find for some reason it's not a good fit for you. Not unlike journaling, therapy can really assist you in understanding yourself better and it can help you to develop the skills and the tools that you need to cope or not even cope but just to manage and to approach life in a different way. This platform provides a really convenient way to access these types of services Especially if you're someone who does live more remotely, you can message your therapist at any time or you can just schedule a phone call, a video call or a therapy session from wherever you are for whenever is convenient for you. So if online therapy sounds like something you might like to try, you can get 10% off your first month by going to betterhelp.com slash Johanna Clough. I've also put this link down in the description box. Thank you again to BetterHelp for supporting my channel.
It's now the afternoon, so it's pretty much the end of my work day. I got a lot of stuff done today. I did not finish the sketchbook video because I had to let stuff dry and then I just got completely carried away with bookmaking. So I got a lot of stuff done on these fairy tale books. I got the signatures assembled. I have paper clipped bits and pieces to sew and I've made pockets and stuff. So they're looking really pretty. The next step for those is to sit down and sew the pockets and the ribbons and stuff that I've added to the books. So I'll either do that tomorrow or maybe even tonight if I get a chance. So they're coming together. I love how they look so far. I'm really excited about that. So I just finished filming the tutorial for the little altered book sketchbook. And this is what it turned out like. I think it turned out so cute, so simple, so fast to make. So I'm going to put that video up on my channel soon. I feel like a broken record sharing it because it's the same binding tutorial that I've shared a million times. It's so straightforward, like I feel like no one's really going to learn much from it unless they haven't uh, come across book binding before, but maybe it will still be inspiring. So I made that. I was just about to sit down and do some work on my fairy tale collection. So I need to do some sewing. I'm going to be doing that for the rest of today. But I just went out to my mailbox and I have a parcel to open. This is from Sticky Club. So Sticky is a sticker company. I've worked with them before a long time ago. I am obsessed with their stickers. They do a really cool subscription service. You don't have to subscribe. You can also just purchase stickers. But they have a really cool subscription service where you can pick your favorite style of stickers and then they send you a pack of stickers each month. So I have this parcel from them. They reached out to work together and basically I ended up being able to pick a bunch of stickers that I really liked. So I picked all my favorite stickers and I've been so excited to get this in the mail to take a look at them. So I think we'll do a little unboxing of the stickers. Just a really quick side note, I do apologize if you can hear both my cat purring and my washing machine going just if you're wondering what those background sounds are. So the first thing on the top here is a little thank you package. So these are some extras that they have included. There's this really cute thank you for your purchase sticker. It's got some little puppy stickers and some other little stickers decorating it. This is definitely something to pop in my journal. And then they also included a couple of free little sticker sheets which are so cute. So Sticky Club works with a bunch of different artists so they do collaborations with different artists and then create stickers out of those artworks which I absolutely love. So it's awesome the variety of stickers they have due to all of the artists collaborations that they do. This is the other little sticker set they sent me. So some really really cute little pandas, tons of those on that sheet. So the rest of the stickers here are the ones that I picked. And then before we open those up, I wanted to show you the other items that I got. So I also picked this little sticker storage book. So they have available these little sticker folders and this is so surprisingly soft. I think it's a faux leather cover. It's really, really soft though. And this particular one is the blueberries. So I picked the blueberries because I really liked this light shade of blue. And this folder is part of a collection. So there are other fruit choices to pick from in different colors. But yeah, I picked the blueberries. And it's like this little folder that has these clear sleeves that fit the sticky sticker sheets inside. So I thought this would be a great way to store some of these sticker sheets. They also have some little pockets in the front and the back. And there's a little hole here so you can put some elastic through for a closure. I also bought some extra little pocket pages to go in my old sticky storage folder, which I'll pull out and show you. So this is another storage folder that Sticky has. And I've had this one for years now. So it's actually a clear folder. I put this paper inside so you can decorate it however you like. It has a elastic. I also slipped in this scrap of paper. So you can decorate it however you like. And then it has these little rings and these little pages which fit the Sticky Club subscription items inside perfectly. So I've got some of these in here and I thought I may as well grab myself some refill pages and then I can pop them inside this folder. And I also got just one subscription 
envelope to show you what you get. So, so this is a past pack and I just picked this one because I thought it was really cute. I'm pretty sure I picked a set with a bunch of frog stickers. So let me show you what's inside here. If you subscribe to Sticky, this is the sort of thing you'll get in your mailbox. So it's a nice big envelope. You can pick from three different types of stickers. So they have cute, they have pop, and they have vintage. And I used to always pick the vintage, but I'm pretty sure this one might be a cute, yeah, a cute pack. I just liked this one that they had on the website. And it does come in a sleeve for your binder as well, which is great. So I picked this one with the frogs because for some reason my sister and I have been just sending each other heaps of different frog memes lately and so I thought these were kind of cute and so you get a variety of stuff in your subscription packs. This looks like a little sticky note set. Super cute. I love the little mushrooms and I like how the line looks like it's been drawn with a pencil. Then inside this little pocket in this particular pack is a cute little stamp, like a little acrylic stamp with this little frog. Super adorable. And then in this little pocket, the little sticker that you get for your sticker storage. So this comes with each pack and it just helps you to organize your insert. So you can use it as kind of like a little tab. And then in the back you get your bigger sticker sheet. There are eight sheets of stickers, so you get so much in these packs. And again, all the different artists are kind of tagged or written at the bottom of each sticker sheet, which is really cool as well. You can go check out the rest of their art if you love them. So these are some cute little fruits and vegetables. Super adorable. And you also get a nice variety of different textures so you get like matte stickers you get some clear stickers you get a really nice variety in that respect as well little food packets with frogs on them so cute the frogs just make me giggle at the moment so i just love those and this is also by the same artist so like little label stickers here is another sheet of frogs i love the little round frogs they're adorable so here's some more here oh my god and then we've got a couple of clear sheets here. Might use the pack to try and focus this a little bit better. But just a bunch of frogs doing different things and there's some cute little phrases and texts that go with them. And then there's another sheet of those. And then the last sheet in this subscription pack is this clear sticky sheet. And these ones are glittery, which is really cute. So again, a bunch of cute little frogs. I love the ones with the little umbrella, super adorable. So this little pack shows you what you get in a monthly subscription pack. Obviously it differs depending on the type of pack you pick, so vintage, cute or pop, and it obviously changes every month so you get a whole bunch of different types of stickers and you get different art from different artists included in the pack so it's really cool. But that gives you a bit of an idea of what you would get. So that's the subscription that they offer. Now let's take a look at the other stickers that I picked. So I went through all of the stickers that they had available on their site and I picked my favorites. So this one I got for Halloween, with Halloween in mind. Some really, really cutesy, like this cat sold me. So cute. I also got this sticky sheet with the different cups of coffee. I got these ones as well. I got these ones with my son in mind. He is a huge Harry Potter fanatic, so I got this really adorable little sticker sheet. It kind of has a bit of a cottagecore vibe to it. I really liked this sticker sheet with all the different food packaging and the cute little, I think it's a raccoon. And then I got a couple of other sticker sheets with Halloween in mind. I do like decorating my planner with stickers and I also like to put them in my journal as well. So I picked this one with the cute hats. I really love the style of illustration for this particular sticker sheet. This one's very cute Halloween vibes. I also got a bunch of stickers that, again, I like to decorate my planner. I just like to decorate with stickers that are relative to what I'm planning. And I do document self-care in my planner sometimes. So I got this little like self-care sticker sheet, which I thought was cute. It's got some different products on here. This one is a Christmas vibe sticky sheet. I thought this was so cute. Again, I can imagine decorating my planner, 
but I can also imagine putting these in my journals as well. I thought the illustrations were so sweet. This is another sort of self-care sheet that I grabbed. So again, lots of different products. And then this one, which is also adorable with a little cat. Then this one has a bit of a vintage vibe. It's got different books and different papers. Absolutely love this. And this one has the same sort of vibe. I'm not sure if it's the same artist or not, but it's got a similar kind of vibe to it. Some beautiful little bunnies, uh, pie, some teapots, sort of like picnic sort of stuff. Then I grabbed this one with the different tickets. I thought this was a really cool sticker sheet as well. Little phrases and things that are really fun. So these are super cute. These would be nice for decorating either a planner or a journal. This is a clear sticker sheet, again with different icons, which is perfect for planning. So there's a bunch of different things on here. Then I got another Christmas sticker sheet. This one is so cute as well. It's got the clear background, so clear stickers. The next sheet has these little envelopes and mail, which again, I think planning with these stickers, I think these would be perfect for planning when I need to post things off or when I need to write a letter, stuff like that. So really, really cute. Then we have this sticker sheet. Then I grabbed this one with the dogs. So cute. Then I've got another male themed sticker sheet. So again, this is great for kind of doing little reminders in my planners. This sheet is so cute. The artwork is adorable with the different animals. Little, little bunny. So this one, again, I think planning, it's got different birthday related stickers. This sticker sheet is puffy stickers, so they are kind of raised. And these are a bunch of tapes, which I thought was so cool. So they're all different to each other. For this sticker sheet, I got two of them. And again, this is just a really simple sticker, which I thought was just super usable for planning. So they're just little envelopes with hearts. And I think these are great to use to remind me of things in my planner. Again, same sort of idea with that, but I like that they have them in all the different colors. So, so I could actually do like a color key for what each different color means if I wanted to do something like that. I got this sheet with like the vintage journal spreads. This is so whimsical and adorable. And the last two, so I got these snails. They have some gold foiling on them. Very, very cool, very cute. And then the last sheet is this one, again, with the different food. I'm just loving these stickers. They're so cute, they're so creative. So this one's all kind of like bees and honey. So really, really adorable stickers. So I got a ton of sticker sheets. I'm going to see how many of them I can fit in this little folder. I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. popped all little sticker sheets into the folder. This is so soft, I can't get over how soft this is. So I fit all of those little sticker sheets inside the folder and I still have a couple of spare pages at the back. I did put the stickers in back to back, so they obviously fit perfect inside the folder. And yeah, I did them back to back just to utilize space and also it kind of works well if you put like one that's got a background with one that's clear so you can see those clear stickers a bit better in the folder. So I kind of did it like that. I would put the clear sticker sheet back to back with an opaque sticker sheet. So now I can see all the stickers really easily and find what I need really easily. I think this is so cute, it's so satisfying. So there's a ton of beautiful, cute little stickers in here to add to my collection. I'm also going to pop my little subscription page inside. It just slips in on the rings. And then I might just put my extras in the back as well. These are specifically made for the subscription stickers. And then these also fit the other sticker sheets that you can buy. So they fit perfect, which makes it really easy to find things. So I love this. So I'm gonna link Sticky down below if you wanna go check it out and I want to say a huge thank you to Sticky for reaching out to work with me because I really love their stickers and I love what they do and you've got to keep an eye out for their advent that they do with stickers. It's really awesome. So I'll link Sticky down below. Also, 
just a last minute note. I'm so silly. I was just packing up and I found the elastic for the book for the little sticker folder. So sorry, I completely missed that. But that's really cute. It matches perfectly to the cover that you picked. I know that the larger fairy tale journals have kind of taken the spotlight a bit in this video so far. So I wanted to take a minute to show you the little baby journals that go with this collection. So the large ones are more of like fairy tale princess castle type of vibes. And the smaller ones are going to be more like woodland, woodland fairy tale type of vibe. So more kind of woodland animal themed. Each one has a different animal on the cover. So this one has a squirrel and then they all have a little flower on the back and I've got some pages together for each book so far. So this one has two little mice, so cute. And then they all have a bird on the spine as well. This pink one has a deer. And then the blue one has a little bunny. So really cute. These are small, they're like four by six sort of size. So you can probably just fit a four by six photo in here. Uh, you might have to trim it down a little bit, but roughly four by six size. So they're pretty small, they're little mini books, but I think they're turning out really cute so far. So there's one in each color of the larger books. So same color theme, they're like little babies or like the little sisters of those larger books. So I just wanted to give you a little glimpse of the progress on these journals so far as well. So yesterday afternoon I had a little play in here, just a really quick little play to break the sketchbook in. So this was on the same day that I made the sketchbook and I think it's such a good tip to actually, whenever you get a new book, whether it's a journal or a sketchbook, break it in immediately or as soon as possible. So if you're someone who buys books that you love the look of and you think they're so pretty, and then they end up just sitting on a shelf and sitting pretty because you're too scared to ruin them and wreck them. I think the best way to avoid that is just to literally break it in as soon as you can that same day if possible. And you'll avoid that feeling of like it's too precious to use. The longer you have something sitting there and the longer you sit there admiring something, the more you're going to put it up on a pedestal and you're going to be too afraid to use it. So. If you buy something because it's beautiful and you want to use it, use it straight away. It will make such a difference. So I just did a couple of little loose like pencil sketches just to loosen up a bit. And then I did this little gouache and pencil picture of these two little mice on the mushrooms. I am really excited to keep playing around and experimenting, practicing and just having a bit of fun.
So it's about 12.30. I've just finished sewing. I just had a lunch break, made a coffee. I sewed on all these little fabric strips down the side of some of the pages. So you get a peek at some pretty little pops of color and textiles and texture when the book's closed and when it's open, it's just a really nice little touch. Getting excited now because we're getting to the last few steps on these journals. I've just got here in front of me let me try and show you. I've got some stuff that I'm going to put into the journals. I'm probably just going to paper clip this stuff and tuck it into pockets. So I like to include stuff like this, but I don't like to I don't like to make the pages too decorated or have anything permanent for the most part because I want my journals to be really usable and flexible. So I like to include stuff on paper clips that way whoever ends up with the journal can actually move them around, glue them where they want to, or do whatever they want with them. So I've got some postcards here. These ones I got from a paper pad. So I did ink dye these, so they're inked on the back as well. And then I've got some other postcards here from a postcard box. Apologies for my washing machine going in the background. <laughs> I've also got some beautiful fairy tale book pages, which I folded up so that whoever ends up with the books can also play around with those. I've got some off cuts from some of the papers that I dyed. So they're nice little fold out bits that are fun to use as well. And then I've also got all of these little bits and pieces from the damaged Cinderella pop-up book that I had. So I cut some of these out. They're sort of like paper dolls or you could attach them to the page as pockets. Again, I think I'm just going to slit these into pockets and paper clip them to the page so that whoever ends up with the books can actually use them the way that they see fit so they can get a bit creative with these pieces. There's some really cool ones there. And then I also want to decorate some envelopes and make them feel a little bit vintage. So what I'm gonna do, I do have some, a couple of envelopes here that I tea dyed. So these ones are actually tea, but I think it's okay to include them with the books because they're not attached. So I'm not sure hundred percent that these ones are tea. I know some people don't like tea dye and I try and stay away from it just because of that. But I also have other envelopes like these pink ones and I had these beautiful vintage stamps, postage stamps, which I think I've shown before, but I bought these on Etsy and I think I will use those to decorate the envelopes and some of the pages. And I also have these gold envelope seals, as well as the actual real stamps. I also have a bunch of stickers that are like pretend postage stamps. I'll probably do a combination of the two. And then another thing you can do for stamps is washi rolls. So I've got this washi roll. I believe this one was from Tapeology and it's got again faux stamps, which you can just tear off. And then I also have this roll. These ones aren't stamps, but I thought you could probably use them the same way. So this is a craft consortium tape. So illustrations by Claire Therese Gray. They're just little seed packets. I thought you could probably use those sort of like stamps as well. They would kind of have the same vibe. So I've gathered up all that stuff and I'm just going to do a bit of decorating and just kind of fluffing the journals out with some stuff, some interesting fun bits to play with. And then I can start working on the finishing touches, which is binding the books, beading the books, and kind of wrapping it up with anything else that needs to be added or whatever else I decide to add to the books, as well as sewing up some bags for them to go in. Mm -hmm. 